Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see Microsoft Purview Information Protection Setup Guide. So let me take you to the Microsoft documentation and how we can use this guide. So if you will visit Microsoft Purview documentation on Microsoft, under Microsoft Purview Setup Guides, you will have all the guides. It will give you a tailored guidance and resources for planning and deploying security controls over tenant apps and services. Find and access the set, find and access the setup guides. So if you see here, I will go to Microsoft Purview Information Protection Setup Guide. I will open up this in a new window. Okay, I get set up Microsoft Purview Information Protection. It says you might need to sign into Microsoft 365 Admin Center at certain points during this guide to use built-in tools, assign tasks in this guide to other admins and track the progress. So what it does is, like Microsoft Purview Information Protection Strategy is driven by the organization needs. Uh, the the goals of the organization are to comply with regulation, laws and business practices while protecting the organization proprietary information, information protection, provides framework, process and capabilities to accomplish those goals. You will use information protection to help discover, classify, protect and govern sensitive information in a more consistent and comprehensive experience across Office 365 applications. Data loss prevention, defender for cloud apps. So information protection configuration can improve the compliance score. If we can view the compliance score now and check the score again. So after applying this guide, we'll see the improvements. We'll discover and identify sensitive information to detect and understand the sensitive information such as personal data across a variety of locations, including device apps, cloud services and on-premises. Classify and protect. Manually or automatically apply sensitivity labels to files. Monitor and remediate. It's an architecture deck present here. Microsoft Fast Track Purview Information Protection. We will go over this as well. Like how this architecture works for Microsoft Information Protection. I'll save it. What to expect? In this guide, we will complete the following information protection. Verify the license and roles. Prepare the environment including set up advanced classifiers to eliminate false positives. Set up information protection labels, set up DLP policies, set up advanced configuration. To use this guide, an E3 or an E5 license is needed. Permission to view data and complete tasks in the compliance portal are controlled by Microsoft Entra roles. So you should either be compliance administrator or you should be a global administrator to run this guide. It is asking for prepare, it is asking us to prepare the environment. You can prepare your environment through workloads and visibility into what content has been discovered and labeled. With the DLP policy templates, we can build policies specific to the organization, industry and location. Set up workloads, recommended add or update roles. So if you click on set up workload, it says you can set up workloads for information protection based on discovered and labeled content. You can check workloads and licensing and assign the right information protection roles to enable for this. discovery and awareness, plan for implementation. And now you click on next. Create information protection labels. Sensitivity labels are used to classify email messages, documents and sites. When a label is applied automatically or by the user, the content or site is protected based on the chosen settings. How do you create information protection labels? These are the documents. Okay. 
click on next set up dlp policies which talks about creating a dlp policies review results of dlp in test mode review the alerts then move to production complete the interactive guide and then apply the endpoint dlp policies to devices then configure a baseline information protection package this usually allows a microsoft purview compliance administrator the ability to create an information protection package for us based financial institutions the ability to create other packages requires the admin to modify content accordingly to support other verticals this all uh, list down the steps then you can test the dlp policies advanced configuration managing alerts and incidents then you will come to the last step all right this is how this guide talks about the setup the step by step setup for setting up the information protection all right and these are the parameters if you need more information on it please visit microsoft documentation and if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day